Hello everyone, welcome to OJ Patterns. In today's class, we will be working on our grading system. So we'll be grading the body's block. So for grading your body's block, the first thing you want to do is get your pattern paper and get your sloper ready. You also need your set square, like double of it. You need your ruler, you need your curve and all. So the first thing you want to do on your pattern paper is create a margin. So make sure your line is straight. You want to create like a top line and an edge so you want to create a margin at the edge and like a top line make sure it's straight so you have to create this and then you get your sloper place your sloper so make sure your center front is placed on the line directly placement is very important your center front is placed on the line directly and now the tip is touching the edge like this this is it you must touch this edge and the center front must touch this so it must touch the corners of your margin that you squared out so what i'm going to do next now is to trace what we have to ensure it's done properly okay now this is the pattern traced out on the margin that was drawn out this is the size 14 basic block so if you check all the edges are on point missing the margin squared out so the next what we want to do is label the part so we want to label it here would be a a and then we'll have b c now the d how to get your d d is D for center front is two inches above skyline. This is the skyline. So close to the armhole, we'll go two inches above skyline. This is, this is point D. D is two inches above skyline. This is D. Next we'll have E. And we'll have F. F. Next we have G down here at one of the that leg. We have H and I here, L here. So we've labored. Then we have J, K. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So we have A to L. So make sure you label properly. Don't forget your D is two inches above your skyline. So this is the skyline. I measure two inches there. That's the point D. So next, the first step says one from A. That's point one from A is five over eight. So what you want to do for this gradient, where you have over eight, you have to make it over sixteen. So for this, now we have point one says one from A. That's from it says one from A. It says five over eight. So we have to make it to sixteen. So what you need to do is eight times two will give you sixteen. And then 5 times 2 will give you 10. So whatever you use to multiply the denominator to give you 16 is what we use to multiply the numerator to give you the number you would work with. Since you are using 116 tape measure, 116 tape measure. So the first step says 1. So we're trying to get point 1. It says 1 from A is 5 over 8 inches. So what you want to do first is convert to 16. So 5 over 8 will give us 10, 16. So we'll measure 10, 10, 16 from A upwards. So 10, 16 is count 10 lines from 0. So this is 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 10, 16. So that's what I would measure and mark. 10, 16. That's from 0. 
get this nice fancy okay. so you want to make sure you can count over and just to be sure it is one from zero two three four five six seven eight nine ten now this is ten sixteen for this grading we are using the tape measure so this is one That's point one. So it says the next step says with the aid of par parallel ruler, draw a line from B towards two, parallel to center front line. Two from B is three over four. Square out towards three. So what you need to do is now the next step is let me just explain that. Now we're using the set square. Ensure a straight line draw. We need to ensure a straight line. So draw a line from B upwards. So this is our B. So we have to square a line straight upwards. So use the set square so that you can get a straight line. And then get a straight line. That's from B. So you can place it using this as a guide, the skyline. This from B, draw a line upwards. So that's it. Okay, so we've drawn the line upwards, and it says the measurement from B is 3 over 4. That is using 116 to be 12 over 16. So, using 116 to be 12 over 16. So, we need to measure 12 linear markings. I've done the calculation, it says 3 over 4, but using 116, your know, 3 over 4 is 3 quarter. So, if you want to convert it to by 16. 3 over 4 would be 12, 16. So we'll measure 12, 16 from B upwards. So I'll just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is 12. I want to place it on B. Exactly on B and mark at 0. So this is point 0.2. So that's point two. So next it says square out towards three. So you square your point two out towards three. So three from two is three over eight. So that is from point two. We we'll measure six sixteen. So we have three over eight. The next step is three over eight. Three from two is three over eight. But what we want to do is square out first. Square out from two first. So I'm going to use this margin as a guide. Place your set square. Please work with your set square so you're sure the line is perfect. If it's square out, square out from two. Now, three from two is three eight. That's the next step. So that is for, since we're using um, 116 measure, we'll be using. 6 over 16 because what you need to do is multiply it by 2 you get 16 multiply the numer um, the numerator which is 3 you will get 6 so that's 6 16 so I'll measure 6 16 from 2 so I'll measure I'll count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is 6 place it on 2 1 2 3 4 so it's always better to cross check over and over. So this is three. Next, connect point three to B. So next is to connect point three to B. Planting your hand out to ensure it's straight. So just connect point three to B. So this is it. This is two. This is three. The next step is four from C is nine sixteen. So the first thing we want to do is look for four. Look for C. This is our C. So we're trying to get four. It says four from C is nine sixteen. So the first thing is really line straight out from C. 
that is the line parallel to skyline so we need to rule a line straight out from c i'm trying to get a straight line straight up from C and then we'll measure 9 on that line to get point 4 so 9 16 we'll place our tape and measure 9 so I'm gonna count now this is 0 from 0 I'll count 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine. I'll place it nine. This is this is nine. This is nine sixteen. This is nine, and this should be called point four. Okay. Next, five from four. Five from four is nine sixteen. So the next step is 5 from 4. It says it's 9, 16. So it says 4 to 5 line is parallel to center front line. Connect 5 with C. So the next thing I want to do, let me break it down, is from point 4. Using a set square. Square point, square your point 4 upwards. So I'm just going to do this. That's my point 4. Make sure I place my set square properly using my tie line as a guide. Using my tie line as a guide. And then I'll square up the point four. Square up the point four, and it says five from four is nine sixteen. So along this line that we squared out, we'll count nine. Along the line that is squared out, let me square it out short more. So we show we're on the same track. So we'll count nine sixteen. So this is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. So please take it very well. This is nine, sixteen, and this is point five. Please, placement of tape is very important. So we want to be sure we connect it properly. So next is connect five to C with a slant line. I'm just going to connect 5 to C. This is it. Okay. Next. 6 from D is 916. 6 from D is 916. That's the next step. So it says 6 from D is 916. Square up to square up towards seven so the first thing we want to do is rule a straight line from d from point d so this is our point d we want to rule a straight line out from d so i'm going to be using this margin as a guide for my set screen i'm sure you place it very well so you show you a ruling a very straight line out Okay, that's it. With a straight line from point D, measure 916 from D. So now, along the line, I'll measure, I'll count 9 over 16. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 9. So I'll move it to D. This is 9. And then I'll mark. And this is point six. So square up a line from 6. First to get 7. 7 from 6 is 3, 16. So we square up a line from 6. Now I will use my tie line as a guide to square up this. The point 6 line. That's it. Now 7 from 6 is 3, 16. So I'll measure, I'll count three lines, three of my linear marking. That's zero, one, two, three. 
then I'll mark some six upwards. Now this is my seven. So we we'll draw a slant line from seven to deep. This is it. Seven to D. We connect that seven to D. Okay. Next, eight from E is one whole number one over eight. So the first thing I want to do is from E square out a line. E, you have to square out a line. Square out a line from E. So it says 8 from E is 1 whole number 1 over 8. So don't forget we have to change the fraction to 16. So we have 1 over 8 fraction to change to 16. So what we need to do is 8 times 2 will give us 16. 1 times 2. So that will be 1 whole number 2 over 16. So that's what we'll be measuring from A. Calling it point A. Point 8. So I'll do 1 whole number 2 over 16. This is 1. And this is 1, 2. So I'll place it after 1. And this is point 8. Okay. Next. Nine from eight is three sixteen upwards. So nine from eight is three sixteen. So the first thing you want to do is get your set square and ensure you get a straight line. So I'll be using this top line as a guide to square out my straight line from eight upwards. So we can't use I would have said let's use this bottom part as the waistline, but don't forget the waistline is not straight from draft. So we we'll have to use the top line that was squared out. As a guide, so you flip your set square. So, and then we'll mark next. So, nine from eight is three sixteen. So, I'll measure from eight three linear markings. I'm gonna count one. Zero, one, two, three. Three linear markings up on the mark. And this is point nine. So we we'll connect nine to E. And we snap. Okay, next moving forward. 10 from F is 1 whole number 1 over 8. So don't forget, so the first thing we want to do is change it. So 10 from F is going to be 1 whole number 2, 16. So I want to square out this line first. Okay, 10 from F is 1 and number 2, 16. So I will go 1, this is 1 inch, and then 1, 2. This is 1, 2, 16. So I'll place it and I will mark. Now this is point 10. Okay, next. 11 from A is same as 8 to 1. So before we start squaring that, we have to mark out. So 11 from A, 
so what is same as a to one so what we have a to one that is 10 16 so measure from point a downwards Then 16 from point A downwards. So I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It says 10, 16. This is 10 and I'll mark. And this is 11. Okay. Swipe from B is same as B to 3. So you want to measure where you have B to 3. This 12 from B is same as B to 3. So we want to measure what we have from B to 3. That's the slant line. You measure it and then you bring it down from B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you measure from B downwards, same measurement. So I'm going to slant from this straight out. Make sure my line comes out so I can mark them safely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is point twelve. This is 12. Okay. 13 from C is same as C to 5. 13 from C is same as C to 5. So I'll just measure what we have from C to 5. And then extend the line outwards. And then extend it inwards. Right? I'm going to show you. Have, you just measure where you have C to 5. And the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 6, 7, 7 11, 2, 3, 3. And then I measure down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whatever measurement you have, C to 5, you replicate it. That is from C downwards, and that will be 13. So 14 from D is same as D to 7. So we'll measure what we have. First thing first, extend your D to 7 line inwards. And then measure. I'm sure you can set it very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then for six. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I bring it down here and I see. So whatever measurement you have D to seven, that will was is what you measure from D inwards, calling it point fourteen. Okay. Now fifteen from E is same as E to nine. So measure Fifteen from E same as E to nine. So first thing first is to ensure the slant line goes inward. And then measure what you have E to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll be seen, I'll go over here and I'll come. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't know why not. So that is my point fifteen. Okay. Next, sixteen from F is same as F to ten. So just place the tape. Check where you have F to ten. F to ten is has one to sixteen. One will number two over sixteen. So we'll bring it inward and we will take ten. Uh, number one to three over sixteen. So that will be sixteen. So grading lines J and K. So we have J and K are parallel to three. That is what we need to do is place the set square on three to twelve, holding it down. So this is where we need the double set square. So place the set square on three to twelve. It says j and k are parallel to 312 lines pa okay j and k are parallel to 312 lines and of a like distance line l is parallel to 14 to 7 so the first thing i want to do is place the tape the set square on 3 to 12 holding it down and then you place so place three to twelve first. This is three to twelve. Ensure you place it very well, please. Very important. Place three to twelve. That's make sure your sister is touching the three to twelve. Now bring the other part of the set square. Don't forget to hold your left hand down that's the three to twelve bring the other part place it underneath for easy slide so make sure now they are both meeting at this part you can't give space you can't hold it like this you cannot hold it like this it has to be this way it has to relax this way now from three to twelve you move the left hand now make sure you're holding your right hand down too don't forget three to twelve hold the right one down so that you can move three to twelve to k like this you have to hold see there's no space in between both of them hold it okay and then square out this way now still place it again make sure you're holding it firmly down now we are moving to j and then move to j and square out 13 move to k you can cross check and then you move to so everything has to be equal that's what it means the parallel lines so then down you have to be able to do it right so please let's pay attention to that that's very important because you don't want to start mixing up the lines okay next place set square on point three Place set square on point three and five. So we want to look for where three and five is. So we're connecting it. On point three and five. This is three and this is five. I'm placing it. And then we'll square out. So I'll square from point three to the line squared out from k. This is it. And then square from point five to the line squared up from j. This is it. So you place that square on three and five. Make sure the line is straight. Now you connect three to the line squared out from k and three to the line squared out from squared up from j. 
So make sure your set point is placed properly. See the way I placed it. My three to five was on a straight line. It has to be accurate. Okay, next, connect point nine to ten with the ruler. So I have to connect nine to ten straight down. Okay. Connect fifteen to sixteen. Okay, next, L is parallel to 14 to 7 line and graded 3, 8 on each side. So what we want to do, L is parallel to 14 and 7 line. So what we want to do first is place the set square 14 and 7. Where is 14 and 7? This is 14 and 7. So the first thing we want to do is place the set square on 14 and 7. And 14 and 7 ensure it's down there you hold it down and then bring the other one and place it underneath to ensure this is straight 14 and 7 this is where we're looking at and now we'll hold the second set square underneath it this way see it's closed there's no space it's not slant it has to sit properly for easy slide so you hold it down and then you slide the first set square to L. So this is this. I'm holding it down. And then I'll slide this to my L. So if you slide it down, you square out. That's it. You slide it and you square out. So you measure and mark six sixteen. You know it says the it says it says three over eight. So you have to convert it. Three will become uh, six, and then eight will become sixteen. So six sixteen on L. You have to measure six sixteen to the left, six sixteen to the right. So from L, I'll measure. I'll count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is my six. So I'll bring six here to L. Just to be sure we're on the right track. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six. And we'll mark. It says to the left and to your right. So we'll do six. And then we'll bring it down and then take count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then mark. So it says six, sixteen, up and down. So I is parallel. To 15 to 9. So I is parallel to 15 to 9 line and graded through 8 on each side, which will be 6 16. So it says 15 to 9. So we want to first place our set square on 15 to 9. This is 15, this is 9. So we place it down like this. Make sure it's accurately placed. Hold it down. Bring the next set square. Make sure it's closed enough here. You want to hold your right hand down. So if you don't hold it down very well, by the time you're moving the first one, the second one would shake. So you have to hold with your right hand properly and then you move. Move your left to I. So the fact that see the fact that I've held it down now, I can always just check. So make sure your line is straight. If you if by by the time you're trying to move it, you realize that your hand is shaking, please ensure to replace now and then I'll move. So 
that fit on I. So we'll measure 616 on to the left, 616 to the right. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I'll place it and mark. I'll come down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I'll mark. So we have 616 here, 616 here, and the line. So now, after doing this, we'll go to G. So then we'll measure 616 on the right and left, and H, 616 on the right and left. So it's already on a straight line. So all I need to do is bring my tape measure and measure from G. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll bring this 6, 616, and then we'll measure 616 to... Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll mark. Repeating for H. One, two, three, four, five, six. And mark. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and mark. So next, we need to connect. So I'll connect the press on this is it to the face to the hitch outside. And then connect from here to the G outside. So this is it. The first one goes to the H outside and to the G outside. That's it. Now the second one goes. Now the next one goes, this is it, I'm connecting the dot from here to the H inside, to the inner H line. So I'll be using, I'm trying to use colors so that we can see very well. And then we connect the second leg to the G out. Okay, so let's connect the top part. Connecting it now, you place your third square on 12 and 13. 13 straight and then you connect 13 to the line squared out from J and stop 12 to the line squared out from K and stop so this is it next is to connect the dot legs so the line squared out square down at K Go to the first dot leg this way. Using the contrasting frame so you can tell the difference. This way, and then it goes. Next to the line square down at J.
please ensure your markings are done properly. I'm actually just using this pen so that we can see the different lines. Okay. Next, the line, the marking after L would go square straight up to the line after K this way. Please be careful while doing this. I need to use another color. I'm actually just trying to play with colors so we can see everything we're marking. So we've marked the three. So next, I'll measure, I'll mark 12 to 11. This is 11, this is 12. So we're connecting the neckline. Then I'll connect three, three to one. Three to one. So we have the three. Next, I'll move on to the armhole part. So connect five, seven, and nine. Five, seven, nine. So we'll do it from this. So I want to ensure I'm going to push the code I have. Use my. You want to ensure your curves are equal to what you have so that all your curves comes out really good. So I'm connecting five to seven. Yes. Now I'll connect the seven to nine, so I'm just gonna push it my four. So I'll be connecting thirteen to fourteen. And I just push check. Make sure your curves are placed the same way. I'm connecting. I'm just trying to push check this code. And then 
نکنه Okay, think back to when I said the three measurements. Okay, so next. So we already have this is 14, this is 20, and this is 8. So to get the other measurement, we divide each space by 3 to get the measurement. So each of the space for us to get the other measurement, we have to divide by 3. So divide the distance by 3. So what I'll do is, now, my B, point B to 12, I'll divide it by 3. Measure what I have B to 12 divided by 3. So we divide this distance by 3. So I measure what I have. So this is it marked out. Divided by three. For this, the fact that you're dividing it by three, you can use your inches, you can use your centimeter, whichever one makes it easier for you. The one is just divide the distance by three. So just place it however you want, place it properly, and then you divide it by three. You can use CM, you can use your one sixteen to count it, whichever one works for you. And that's what we'll be doing. I'll come here, repeat the same thing, divide it by 3. That's from C. The distance between 5 and C, I will divide it by 3. I'll just count what I have and divide by 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now check what I have C to 13 and divide by 3. So it's actually just me to start to do the same thing. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I'm done with that. Come to the next line. The base repeat thing that's a to one. The one measurement you have divide by three. So, 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 so. Yeah. The measure. 8 to 11, whatever measurement you have, you divide by 3. Okay. Next. I'll divide D to 14 by 3. Divide D to 7 by 3. So you measure what you have D to 14, and then you divide it by 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine divided by three will give us four. And give us three. So please note that the reason why I'm not calling out the measurement that I'm dividing by three, the reason I'm not calling that is because I used the marker on some parts, so the ink has spread out, so you won't get the exact measurement as what I get here using a pencil. So that's why I'm not calling it out so you, you don't get confused thinking your own is wrong. So the reason I'm just make sure you once you follow the steps you get exactly the measurement. 
now because my ink has fallen out here like the colors i've used would make my measurement different from yesterday so you just need to follow the steps please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video please the like conversation so you can drop a comment and tell me how it was when you were trying to draft yours it was one two three four five six seven eight nine mm -hmm. so i'm dividing each of the distance right there so from here is it comes for here This is one for I with in between it, whatever number I have, we divide it by three. Mm -hmm. Just ensure you place your feet very well when you're doing this place. Come to the back legs, I divide it by three. This is two, two. So I'll come to the H for this one. So go to G with this one. Um, do the same. I go one, two, three, one, two, three. Moving to the sides in between E and fifteen. Measure it and divide by three. Then yeah, divide the bottom part. After dividing it by three, now all we need to do just cross check, make sure you have everywhere divided by three. All we need to do now is to start connecting. So I would use a color pencil to see so that we can have we can see different colors and how it comes out.
So this is it. So the first one from first to second, this is how it is. I'll place my text where now mark from then going over. Mark from the first and then moving out from to the next. That's it. So let's do all the ones we will do with blue. So that we know we'll keep it one side when we're done. So I'll connect now. This is the first one that was marked. So I'll connect from here to the first one in between as it comes. This is it. The only reason why I'm using color pencils is so you see the markings on how the connection is made, please. Next, I'll connect from the leg now, the second that leg. To the blue. I hope this colored pencil is out. Next, I'm gonna connect to that leg. Connect this after the first marking. Connect the first one to the left. And then connect it to the first that over right here. Next, I'll connect this. I'm going to connect the arm hole. I'm here. Then connect the bottom part. Voila. <laughs> 